she is referred as the bandit queen of india's social movement anuradha bhosle is someone who understands what it is like for little hands to work or for women to be abandoned by their families having walked these difficult paths herself today she is the vice president of an organization avni a non-governmental organization in kolhapur that helps rescue child laborers and works with underprivileged abandoned women anuradha bhonsle was born as agatha amolek on 20th of december 1971 in shri rampur maharashtra she was born in a catholic household her grandfather was born as a hindu however he transformed into catholic anuradha's father was a pre primary instructor and earned a meager wage of rupees 150 Her mother was a home employee and earned rupees 10 as earnings. Anuradha was the 11th out of 12 children of her parents. However, Anuradha nurtured a deep desire to pursue education because she felt that this was the only way to improve one's position in life. Anuradha studied at St. Teresa Girls High School Harigaon till class 5 after which she shifted to a missionary run women's hostel in Harigaon Ahmednagar since the age of 6 anuradha used to serve four households the place she worked she used to clean pots pans wash the garments sweep and rub the floor anuradha's mother did various jobs and worked very hard as she wanted her daughter to pursue her dreams however despite working late into the night she was not able to pay her monthly fees gradually it dawned upon the teachers that she was a committed student and her fee was waived off anuradha completed her graduation from nirmala niketan college of social work mumbai in the year 1991 On completing her fifth year of the course, she started working with the migrant children who crushed rocks, which were used in paving roads in Kolhapur. In the year 1995, Anuradha fell in love and got married. But domestic violence plagued the marriage right from the beginning. Neither her husband nor her in-laws supported her social activities. but she carried on in 1996 she joined the verela development society whose mission was to provide homes to homeless divorced and widowed women in sangli and kolhapur district of maharashtra the following year she joined avni a vds project to conduct surveys of migrant children in kolhapur Anuradha says this was what i was craving for and it was perhaps the most memorable moment of my life however when she found solace in work her marriage was steadily deteriorating and she had to leave home with her 6 year old daughter and a 1 year old son with just the clothes that they were wearing she did not have family or close friends to depend upon it was then that she says she realized the plight of women and their children who were often kicked out of home recollecting those days she says i no longer sympathized with them i understood the true meaning of empathy At first one of her friend offered her a place to stay other friends helped her financially for the next few months gradually she began to make progress in her chosen field and she also started attracting followers in the process as well anuradha's passion while she works tirelessly to unite child laborers with their families 
and how she works at the grassroots level has impressed people from all across the world. Since 1995, her organization Avni has rescued 9,200 children in Kolhapur district, and they have been enrolled in the schools nearby. Avni has rescued migrant children and provided them with safe housing. This organization has also rescued children from sugarcane fields, construction sites, domestic work, street begging, retail shops, hotels, lodges, and even from exploitation by their own families. One of the main aim of Anuradha's organization Avni is to educate, empower, and unite women. who are widowed divorced and abandoned since august 2011 as many as 53000 plus women have received government entitlements in the form of cash and their children no longer need to work as child laborers anuradha has always spoken of her work as the building of a movement instilling hope and courage for women to act on their own behalf as the core of her life's work anuradha says long term change can only be accomplished by encouraging people to educate and to do things for themselves i always tell people that poverty is not the reason to be child labor but in our country because there are child labor there is poverty 